What's up guys and welcome back to the crew too. Today uh, we are going to be taking on uh, some new street races that we haven't done before and I say let's go ahead and purchase a new car to be able to do so. So what do we want to pick up? I've got an idea. I, I really I would love to check out the 911 GT3 RS. The Hudecon would be dope. I kind of want to go with the Audi R8 Coupe V10 Plus though. So we're going to go we're going to go with this thing. I really like white on R8s but we're going to see the other options here. The, the gray doesn't look bad. The yellow actually doesn't look bad either. Black, of course, looks good. Black looks good and everything. Orange. I mean, we're, we're just going to customize this thing anyway, so let's just choose that. And then for rims, what do we want to do here? We'll black them out. Looks good to me. Go ahead and purchase this thing. Dude, just the white and black, like, Stormtrooper look on the R8 to me is one of the most beautiful cars ever. Both the R8 and the GTR. I absolutely love them when they look like that. But, uh, man, look at this thing. She is so sexy. Let's go ahead and go to our, uh, let's go to our crib here. Want to go home out in Malibu. Head this way, and we're going to customize this thing up before we take on four new street races that we have not raced yet. So, uh, this should be good, and hopefully we can get some wins today. We'll see what happens. So, let's go ahead and choose the RA. I can never figure out how these things are, are organized. There it is. We've got the R8 there. Looks good to me. Dang, she is sexy, dude. All right, it's time to customize her up, though. So let's see what we've got going on for liveries. Want to see... Ooh, we've got the camo. Not sure what AET is. That doesn't look bad. A little bit more of a racing look. That's not bad. This is the typical white and black. Like I said, that always looks so good. Let's see what else we're working with. Hmm. I'm thinking we keep it white and black, to be honest. And we could go for the camo, but I'm not crazy about the camo. So let's go ahead and let's see what we have for visual part customizations and see if we can make it look really unique. Okay. We're going to start with that. That looks pretty good. Front bumper. Oh, we can do some red accents in there. That looks pretty nice. I like this. We're gonna go with this one. Looks good. Rims. Do we want to change up the rims? I honestly... Oh my god. So, oh, some of these are so bad. What, what would you ever want to use that for? Some of these are the worst rims I've ever seen. I'm just gonna keep them stock. Holy cow, dude. Alright, y'all know we're gonna go with the red calipers, of course. Why does that turn gray? I'm trying to get a brighter red. We'll just go with that. Side mirrors. I'm gonna keep the black ones. Skirts, can we do a red accent here? We've got red accents on everything else, but then we can't do it on the side skirts? That doesn't make sense. Rear fender. I can't even understand what's changing here. I guess we'll save our money. Change up the wing. Do we want to go with something crazy? I'm just going to leave it stuck. This thing's going to be a... A stock pony, man. You're not going to expect what's coming. Alright, what do we want here? Lots of cool options. I really like this. I also really like having the exhaust up in those things. I think that's dope. So what if we black that out with the exhaust up there? I'm going to do that. We'll make it a little bit unique. You can change the interior color. I'll go with the brighter interior. Interior style, interior material. Interior insert. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that... Most of the time, you can't do that in racing games. Change up the interior like that. I like how this thing turned out. Let me... Hold on. Let me see what it looks like with the library. But what are exclusive libraries? Oh, are these, like, game-made ones, maybe? We could get a lion on the side of it? Like, what? Dude, what? A panther? An elk. A giant dragon. A snake. Dude, these are ridiculous. How about a goldfish or a scorpion? Or a zebra? Why, why wouldn't you want to do zebra? 
Why? There's so many, there's so many whys that I have. Okay, that's pretty dope, but what do we like better? I think I like stock better, if I'm being honest with you guys. I just, I, I think these things are so beautiful just by themselves. I don't think you need to do anything crazy to them. And I mean, this thing looks nice. I like, those exhausts are cool. For races here, street races, we've got uh, four new ones. We've got the Harlem West race. We've got the Harley Davidson Red Rock run. Downtown LA South and the Strip North. All right, so let's uh, let's just start with Harlem West and we're just gonna cruise through all these, see what we can do. The Harley Davidson one's gonna be interesting because I think that's gonna be like, a, obviously we're gonna be racing a bike, which should be cool. We might be able to win ourselves a Harley, we'll see. Progress. Today we're racing cops instead of being chased by them and they love going all out against us. Really? It's good for us to be running the right side of the law unless we beat them. Oh, yeah. Go beat him anyway. We're racing cops today? I'll take it. Dude, this thing sounds so nice. Oh. Oh. She's so sexy. Alright, here we go, boys. Look at that! Dude, I, I don't know why, but I really like having the exhaust up there. I just think it's super unique and different. I like being different. Watch out, pedestrians. Your boy is taking a shortcut. Dude, this thing looks so mean. The, the, just the angles on this. Like, I thought the, the previous Gen R8, I thought it was timeless. I didn't think you were gonna be able to beat it. I thought it was gonna be just this incredible vehicle that will never look that good again. And I do still like the, the roundness of it, but I can't lie, like this thing, it, it looks so good. At first, I didn't like it just because it was different. And again, like I said, I, I thought the original R8 was the best looking car ever, one of. But I'm not gonna lie, I think my allegiance has, has changed a little bit. I think I might like the edginess of this thing a little bit more. So we missed a checkpoint back there, but I think we're gonna be able to make our way back up front. At least it made things a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. Woo, okay. Trees are providing issues. Where's the first place guy? He's way up there. I mean, technically all we have to do is get to, okay. All right. This is, uh, this is like a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna see if we can bring this back. I, I honestly kind of believe this. We're gonna be okay. We've had a rough go of it so far. We're gonna see what we can do. We'll see what we're really made of here. I said I like being challenged. It's exactly what we're getting today. Back in a second, what? Why didn't we take that route the first time, the first lap? Dude, what? Oh my gosh, listen to that backfire. It's raining now, it's a little bit slick. Slick daddy club, welcome to it. And we're back in first, baby. Don't tell the R8 what she can and can't do. That's what I'm talking about. Is, did we, hold on, was that there in the first lap? Or are we in a different, I, I feel like, are we in a, di we're in a different section of town, right? No, we are, this is the same thing. I guess we just missed, the, we must have wrecked right before that checkpoint last time. Holy cow, boys. All right, we'll take it. That, that my friends was a good race. That is the type of race I would like to do again. I, I like having that challenge where you gotta catch back up and nut up or shut up, basically. All right. Take these parts. Looks good to me. And uh, I'm not gonna apply them yet because our car is already kind of on the upper end. Let's just go ahead and hop into our next activity here. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna say let's run through the uh, the ones with the R8, and then we'll do the Harley one. So next up, we've got LA Downtown South. 
Tio's got a special someone he wants to impress by winning this race. You beat him, you block his move. Okay. Wait a minute. Tio's got a girlfriend. I thought he was married to his car. The man's just full of surprises. Okay, that's a little cringe. I thought he was married to his car. <laughs> oh, goodness, dude. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Is that Tio on the bike? No, that's Miles. Where's Tio? I have no clue. Woo! All right. I've been in this area so many times in GTA. It's crazy how similar they are. And it's true to, to real life as well. That's why they're so similar. But still. I love it. Love it when you can feel that way. I'm wondering if Forza Horizon 4 is going to be super close to England. English countryside and stuff. In London. I've never been over there, so I won't be able to tell, but... I'm excited to see it. Tio's in the GTR back there. I respect it, bro. I respect it, but unfortunately, your lady's gonna be a little bit disappointed with your performance here. Don't worry, it's not the first time that's happened, though. This thing, I will say, does not like what in the world? It doesn't really like to get sideways as much as I would, would want it to. I gotta start pulling the e-brake a little bit more, I think. Just making things interesting for y'all. I just 55%. wanted to see what it felt like to let someone else have first. Uh-huh. I'm sure that's what you're doing, bro. But yeah, you kinda gotta gotta pull the e-brake a little bit in this bad boy, which normally you don't have to, especially on slick roads, but that's alright. It's just a learning experience. Got to take Bay out once or twice to understand what she likes and how she likes to be touched. Take her on a test drive or two. Dude, some of those backfires are so aggressive. It sounds like a gunshot. And we're going to call that one a wrap. Let's go, boys. Good stuff. First place, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, this thing looks so nice. Let me go see what's up here. Our loot's up here. Okay. We'll take that loot. Oops. Missed it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there we got it. All right. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's go take out our next... Uh, Next event here, activities, street racing, street race, and we're gonna be going. This is gonna be our last race with our uh, our Boothang, our new R8, the Strip South. We're gonna be going back to Vegas, but uh, this time racing something a little bit different. All right, boys, here we go. We're gonna race the starting grid. It's gonna be up here on the left. Let's see what we're working with. It's a beautiful day to race. Dude, our, our exhaust tips are even carbon fiber. What? This car is so sexy. It's so just clean. Like, you don't need... I would have liked to put a wide body on it, if I'm being honest, but you don't need to. It's just a, a clean, good-looking car. So our last strip race had a, uh, a ton of shortcuts you can take, so we got to be on the lookout for that today. Can't break through that. Believe me, I tried. We got Tia behind us in the GTR again. Okay. Feeling this thing out. It's an interesting race so far. Tia, what's up, bro? You trying to throw hands or what? Okay, that's definitely a spot that we can improve a little bit. Cut through the trees. Trying to catch up to the man, dude. He's flying. He 
he's staying a solid two seconds ahead of us. That nitrous burn helped us out a little bit. I just don't like flying on new races that we haven't raced, because oftentimes you can get some crazy turns that you aren't expecting, and then you end up going off into the trees and stuff. Okay. So I think that's the first lap. We got this. Yep. Lap two, here we come. So this one I remember, we gotta go right. And stay to the right. Yes, sir. Woo! If I take out the checkpoint, nobody else can get it, right? Is that how this works? Just kidding. We're flying now. But see, like, now that I know what's coming around each next corner, we can actually race a little bit quicker. We were like, racing pretty, uh, punily in the last one. Pretty conservative. So you can cut through here. Watch out for the tree, but we're good. Ow, baby! Yes, sir. All right. I don't even see the other racers on the minimap. Make sure we're getting these checkpoints. If we miss one of those, we might be in trouble. This section's fairly straightforward. All right, so we're three for three in the day in the R8. Not gonna lie, this is a great purchase. I'm very happy we did. Very good looking car, very fast car. And uh, we want a, a decent amount of money with it. And followers and such. So now we're gonna be moving on to the Harley Davidson race. Oh, you know what? We never even raced inside of her, dude. I keep for, oh, it's so beautiful too. Are you serious? I keep forgetting to do that. We're at 260 right now, 270. I honestly keep, I keep forgetting to go into the interior of the cars. I don't know why. We're gonna start doing that more. I know people mostly prefer exterior racing, but I would like maybe like one race an episode to do interior. Island of the victories. Feels good, doesn't it? I know it does. I won a few races back in my day. But remember, if losing's a good test for friendship, so is winning. I'm not saying it'll happen to you, but I learned how fast things can go south. Learn it the hard way. This is so sick, dude. I just, I love feeling like I'm in the car. I don't know why. I've, I've always, like, growing up, I always liked being on the exterior of the car in racing games, but then I started racing on the inside, and it's just, I don't know, it's a whole different feeling. You obviously can't see as much. You can't really appreciate the car as much, but it's a, uh, it's a cool feeling to actually feel like you're there. Anyway. Let's go ahead and head out and see what Harley's up to. Ready to roll? This is a chance to go cross country on a Harley 2017 Street Glide Special. Vegas to Yosemite. Get ready to race other Harley fans. Tio's got nothing to do with this one. It's just a chance to go all easy rider for the win. Okay. We'll see what we can do. We got to eat, what is it, an easy glider? Is that what they called it? So this is this is a, a cruising cruising Harley, beach mobile Harley, just cruise around and, and chill. They're still gonna be pretty fast, I would assume. We'll see what happens. So he said it was gonna be a cross country race. We'll see what we can do. We got nitrous on our Harley, why not? Wait, hold on. Oh, passed it. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Okay, we got a cart. I'm gonna lane split these fools. Woo! Trying to get a bunch of near miss. Oh my god, dude, that, like. Can you imagine real life? Like, your life is flashing before your eyes in that moment. 110%. That was terrifying. Got a pretty comfortable lead. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna be taking a left here. Alright. Dude, this is gonna be a long, slow race. We aren't even at 10% yet. So we went all the way down the strip, now we're going through Fremont. Golden Nugget back there and stuff. This is gonna be cool though. This is like good old American road trip. Gonna 
gonna get in the freeway. I'm gonna take a right. Oh shoot. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. I got this. I got this. That was sketchy. Okay. Dude, these things, honestly, I mean, true to a motorcycle in real life, it is a little bit slow to react. And then once you once you do something, like, you don't want to overdo it, because then you have to counter-react it, and that takes even longer. So that's what we just got into right there. That was interesting. Elliot? Get out of here, bro. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did, uh, I got us in a racing suit, finally. I feel like it was necessary. There is character customization, but we have none of it unlocked. We can either have that brown t-shirt on or a racing suit. So I put us in a racing suit. Which I think was a good move, but... Let's go back under the windscreen. Dude, your eyes would be burning right now. Doing 157 miles an hour in a Harley. 22% of the way through the race here. Is there a way to like lean forward or lean lean down or anything to increase the speed a little bit? We're going by all the salt flats out here. I think. Oh no. Oh shoot! We got it though! Oh! We're good! Oh, a bus! We're good. I was not paying attention, dude. But we're good. We ran straight into that checkpoint thing at like 150 miles an hour on a motorcycle. We would be so beyond dead. We would have been turned into cheese. We would have been grated through all those pipes. All right, so we don't want to be in the dirt. The dirt is bad news. I'm gonna keep him. You ain't passing me, bro. You ain't passing me. You ain't passing me, bro. I mean, if you could kind of cut a corner a little bit, it's all right to go through the dirt, but otherwise, you definitely don't want to. 35% of the way through the race, boys. Looking all right. Dude, this, honestly, like, it just does it, like, I'm used to racing, like, street bikes and stuff in games where you can really kind of cut a corner, and this thing is just very slow and methodical about everything it does. This is the coda of motorcycles. I'm gonna try something crazy, boys. L1 and R1 to get back on track, no thanks. We're off-roading in our Harley Bagger. I'm so glad that worked out. There could have been like a clip there or something that we would have just dropped off of and would have been gone forever. I'm not gonna lie, this is dope. Like I, I like I like this whole cruising long race type deal. One of my favorite races that we ever did in uh in Horizon was the Goliath race, where it was just like you just Race and race and race and race and race. It's like a 25 mile race or whatever it was. We're really gonna screw ourselves if there's end up being like a cliff or something we can't get over. Or rocks. I'm not gonna lie, we're taking some pretty heavy, heavy shortcuts here, but okay. What? It kept like pushing us into that stone wall. Still in first. But yeah, we're taking some pretty heavy shortcuts. It's fine though. I mean, we're gonna win this race regardless, so we might as well, might as well have some fun with it. If it was close, I wouldn't be doing that. But I wanna have some fun with it. Back in the driver's seat, boys. Twist that handle and grip that seat. Dude, we're getting low in these turns, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's the wall. And the other wall, just testing to make sure they're structurally sound. Let's 
55% of the way through this race, dude. This is this is nuts. This is chill. I like it though. I like hanging out with you guys. We got some cool bridges we're going over. Let's go ahead and hop back out and take a look at the scenery. Okay. We haven't really been using our nitrous. These guys might start catching up if we don't start using it more. I'm gonna start using it on the straights. This is so weird, dude. It's so funny. 60%. We're only four seconds ahead. That's kind of crazy. After all the cheating we did, I'm surprised. Like I said, I think it's because we're not using our nitrous. Good music for a road trip. I don't mind it. Two seconds ahead. All right, there's no way, dude. I think there's like a heavy, heavy computer catch up in this game. We are racing that, yeah, baloney. I think they just like to keep the CPU near you just to freak you out a little bit, just to scare you. Because there's no way they would have caught up that fast. But notice that as soon as they catch up that fast, they can't pass us. I hope. Oh, shh. Dude, that was a grizzly bear. That honestly scared me a little bit. Like, truthfully, that scared me a little bit right there. Holy cow. real quick looking good 73% we're over two-thirds of the way there boys this is the home stretch three quarters officially right now I can see the the lights on the horizon I don't know if that's the sun rising or what Raced all through the night. We're still going strong. Woo! Dude, this is sketchy. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda forget where we were racing to. Yosemite, I think? I like how they actually have road signs that have like towns and numbers on them. We're looking for Yosemite. One second ahead, we're doing all right here. Rubbing the wall a little bit. We got a whole train of people behind us now. We can't, dude, if, if we somehow messed up and, and failed and didn't get first, I'd be so upset. This was such a long race. Starting to see all the giant redwoods. Doing all right. Good turn there. Rubbing the edge a little bit, but that's because we're getting in there. We're digging in. This is starting to get a little bit sketchy, boys. We're starting to. He's, I can feel his, his breath on my neck. He's getting close. We got 10% left. My hands are starting to get a little bit sweaty just because there's so much riding on this. I don't know if our objective is to win it or get top three. I'm just going to tell myself we have to win it so we don't have any potential mishaps. But yeah, dude, the, the, the pressure's on. It's been such an easy race, but there's pressure just because it's been so long. Speed up. I have to break a little bit through this turn. 
94%, almost 95. Dude, I'm so nervous. Let's keep the distance here, Trev. Your eyes on the prize. Is this the finish line up ahead of us? No, nope, it's another checkpoint. Oh, we're gaining ground here. There's the finish. So we're gonna go through these trees. Gonna wanna break before the left hand turn a little bit, maybe? No, we're good. Woo! Sprint to the finish. Oh my goodness, dude. That that was nuts. I, I don't think I've ever ever sweated so much riding a Harley before. We got $67,000 and 9,000 fans for that. That's awesome. And a ton of loot. We'll take it, baby. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Looks like it put us back in the R8. And uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Peace out.